Cuomo has done it again. Just when you think that they can't do it again, they do. So uh, he had gotten into um, a, a tiff with someone at a bar. He uh, is apparently so offended by someone calling him Fredo from, uh, you know, as a, he, he deemed it a racial slur worse than the N-word. But the interesting thing is he's never been offended by it before. Watch this. Uh, Daddy kept Fredo back home. So who cares what Donald Trump Jr. says? Who cares what Donald Trump Jr. says? All right, I don't, you know I don't want to talk about Anna, Anna, you, you know, said that... Not offended there, but look at how offended he got when he was in the bar. I thought, that, I thought, I thought that's who you were. No, punk-ass is from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. Oh, you're much... Fredo is from the Godfather. He was that weak brother. Isn't that your And they use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Are you Italian? I got, I got a it's a bit. f***ing insult to your people. It's an insult to your f***ing people. It's like the N-word for us. Is, wow. that, is that a cool f***ing thing? Then own what listen, you man. said. Hey, then own listen, what you said. Listen, listen, take man, them, I yeah, have what? a problem with you, man. Yeah, you're going to have a f***ing problem. What? What are you going to do about I'll, it? I'll f***ing ruin your shit. Then. I'll f***ing throw something. you down these stairs like a f***ing punk. Please do. Why? So you can f***ing sue? You don't want to So you can f***ing sue? Well, why don't you do it? Go take a swing. You want to call me Fredo? Take a f***ing swing. Look, folks, this is like one of those things. Like, All right. Classic example of red flag laws right here. Democrats who want red flag laws. Cuomo, don't own a gun. So joining me tonight to break this all down, <laughs> my friend, Benji Irby. Uh, dude. I mean, Lord, this is just... <laughs> it's so, First of all, this Fredo thing is ridiculous because if I'm to believe that Fredo... And this is... You were talking to a black guy here, okay? So, like, <laughs> if I'm to believe that Fredo is this racial insult, then everybody who says, bye, Felicia, then I should be offended because Felicia was the crackhead from Friday. Like, Fredo <laughs> is from a movie. <laughs> this is a movie. This is not real life. And the yeah. thing about this is so weird. I hope he was, like, drunk or drugged or something because... This is a reference that, like, most millennials had to, like, look up today and figure out, like, what is he talking about? Because, By the way, from... Like, if you're under 30, not even know what he's talking about. From a, yeah, and from a guy who constantly criticizes the president for hor horrific rhetoric. And that's what he says. Oh, the president has horrific rhetoric, and we need to stop him, blah, blah. He's out there threatening to fight some guy and throw an effing punk down the stairs. I mean, right. Dude. And punk, which is something that's been used as a gay slur, like, I was reminded of that today, and I didn't even think of that yeah. as, like, a thing. I mean, that is, but I'm just not that triggered to think that. Yeah. It's, it's uh, I, I hope you can blame it on the alcohol or something. Because this is just... I think that, you know, this happened on Shelter Island, which is a very, very super exclusive place, so I think he was kind of caught off guard. He probably didn't think that, like, someone would have cost right. him there. He didn't know he was on camera. I mean, I it's just dumb. Like, I guess he wants to be a victim so bad, we're going to make up a new victim class. Let's make up a, a, a new slur. And for you yeah. to, to, to you compare it to the N-word, it's like, yeah. really? That's so disrespectful. And I'm not even a person who's offended by stuff like that. Like, I wasn't offended. I just think this is all so dumb. And it's like, you're really trying hard to become this victim class you're trying to make yourself. I, I really don't understand, like... And he is afraid of. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's he, a stupid brother. So, like, he, you're afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> Deal. And he also referred to himself as Fredo on some radio because interviews. Because he is Fredo. Yeah, like, your brother's a governor and you're Fredo. And you're yeah. Italian. Like, I don't, I don't, it's a movie. Yeah. <laughs> but he referred ridiculous. to himself as Fredo. Because he's Fredo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just like, you, you can't make this stuff up. You, the, the funny thing about this is that you have, time and time again, he has criticized people for, for violent rhetoric and hateful stuff. And here he is, snapping off at that. I mean, this guy was, like, unhinged. And, like, I'm not exaggerating this. Like, like it doesn't intimidate me at all. I don't think, I don't think for, I should be afraid of, Cuomo was actually <laughs> going to take a swing at anybody. I think he was punk, you know, sticking his chest out to try to seem macho or something like that. But, like, it, at no point in a bar fight should you say, oh yeah, I'm an anchor on CNN. That is just not a tough thing. That's worse than being Fredo. Yeah. I'd be Fredo. <laughs> personally. <laughs> Call me Fredo. Yeah. All day. <laughs> that, that, that was the worst thing he said. I'm like, oh, anchor uh, CNN. Jesus, the curse word. Yeah, but it is the performative outrage, okay? It's the performative outrage when you have Anna Navarro, the fake Republican on CNN. Ugh. Yeah. And she's yeah, yeah. So we have Anna Navarro saying, you know, calling Donald Trump Jr. Fredo. I mean, it's like, you know, Cuomo says nothing. He calls himself that on radio. It's this performative outrage. And the problem is that the social justice monster comes for everybody, not just. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, it started off with He's conservatives. To protect himself. We've, conservatives may have been the the ripe red meat for the conservative justice or, uh, um, social justice monster, but it is now. You know, we see with AOC, it's turning its course and it's mm -hmm. going after the left. 
And I think Cuomo's is the latest it's victim. whomever they can get is convenient at the time. That's why the bla the glaring hypocrisies are just so numerous because they're it's you know liberals you know. No offense. Don't think we have it's a, liberal a feeling. Studio, yeah, we're right liberal now, here watching. So. Um, yeah. They don't. They don't think they feel. So at the moment, this felt right, and then we feel like, oh, well, yeah, we can put that against Trump because Trump does these things. And it's, it's so stupid already. Yeah. It's like. I don't know why Chris Cuomo would act like this. I mean, you're a very, you know, yeah. I hate to say it, privileged, right. very, you know, well-off man with a great job and a great life and you work out and stuff and, you know, you should be happy. I don't understand why this Fredo thing triggered him unless he really knows in his heart that he is Fredo. And I guess yeah. he wasn't ready to hear but that like, in the moment. How did he think this was going to go? Did, did he honestly think, okay, like he he's an uh, you know, a, a, a anchor on... A failing network, but still a mainstream network. Yeah, okay. He's and lucky he didn't get punched in the face, man. If someone came screaming No, that guy, me, honestly, and I'm not even a Chris Cuomo fan yeah. of this, but that guy clearly was a punk. I mean, if he really was going to step up, he, yeah. both of them were punks, but the guy right. kind of was backpedaling, and uh, I didn't say the, that it was your name. Clearly that wasn't his name. I mean, so, here's I mean, the he thing. backpedaling a bit, I've I've had, just to be honest. I've had this happen to me before, and my first instinct is like, hey, bro, it's not worth it. I mean, at the end of the day, if you get into a bar fight now, it used to be, you know, 20 years ago, you used to get into a bar fight, and that was it. It was over. Mm -hmm. But now, you get into a bar fight you have charges breach of peace like all these different things it's just not like look i got kids i own firearms like it's right. just not worth it i will buy someone a beer at the bar to avoid a fight but let me tell you if you get in my face like that like i am threatened my hands are up like this ready to receive anything and if he makes motion i'm, I'm putting his ass down I mean, I don't think Chris should lose his job or anything, because, I mean, the same thing happened to Tucker. You know how much I love Tucker. Yeah. So, you know, whatever. I just don't understand why he did this. Like, I, I, I hope it was drugs or alcohol. I hope he's not really that crazy. Right, yeah.